Hey everybody, it's your pal Rob. Spring is in the air. Yes, it is. April is here. Can't believe it. We're already in the fourth month of this year. Can you believe that? Fourth month of this year. Whew. Where does it go? Where does it, where does it go? That's what I like to know. Just getting quicker to, uh, you, you know, the end game. It starts to speed up as you get in the twilight of your life. That's for sure. Hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's, uh, as usual, you know, last minute stream. You know, either I do them or I don't on a Sunday. Uh, before I get into the subject, because I'm going to tell you why this popped into my head, actually. Um, uh uh, just to let you know, I, I, I'll tell you, I have not felt this good in a long, long time. Um, we're gonna, we've got a lot of things going on this week uh, that we're going to be checking out. Um, I've already filmed something for Age Ammonia. I don't know if it goes up this week or next week. I think I'm going to squeeze it in this week. Um, we're painting again, which is good. Um, I actually opened up a box of uh, my good friend Steve from Miniature Market who has Sports Card Market. You want to go there if you are, you know, you like superhero cards, sports cards, football cards, whatever. They have the best prices around. Uh, I opened up a box of this uh, and I taped it. And oh my God, the stuff I got in here. Uh, but you can watch that video. Uh, quite surprising. I usually don't do. It's a little off of what we we do here, but um, I really, really liked. Uh, had a good time with it, uh, especially with what I got. Hey, Dick, how are you? Um, we're going to be painting shadows of brimstone, which uh, I don't know if the video will go up this week. I think it goes up on next Monday. So, um, you'll see that. Also, I'm going to start page, uh, painting Age of Amon um, Age Monia. And then Cyberpunk, uh, we're going to continue on with some of the gangs. Um, we've got some different games I brought in uh, that I wanted to check out because I always try to go outside the box a little bit. Uh, Frag is like one of my favorite games. I have like the gold edition. Which is like a big box edition. I don't know where I put it or else I would pull it out. But they came out with this nice little pocket edition. So we're going to take a look at that. I'll be making a video on that. Uh, Soulless Lost. Which is a neat little card game that I started checking out. I just got to make sure I got the rules down before we do that. And then I saw this. I thought this might be fun for the channel. Uh, the Baldazar Stone. Uh, it is kind of one of those mystery box games where you open it up and you try to figure out a mystery. I thought that'd be fun down the road. Uh, for sure. Alexis, Clint, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, just so much coming down, down the pike. Um, and it's kind of funny. You know, I, 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 I feel a lot more like myself. Now, I've been fully back in the gym uh, going every single day. I was doing it three times a week to try to ease into it at the beginning of the year. Again, trying to get over how sick I've been and all this other happy baloney. Uh, but I got to a point where I am now and uh, where I'm going every single day. Uh, and it's amazing how quick my body recovers and remembers uh, what I was. And you know, for somebody that's my age, and and I am an old fart, uh, to get to this point where, you, you know, I'm only about 30, 40 pounds to benching and, and squatting and curling, all the stuff that I was doing before I got massively sick. Um, I'm starting to get my size back. And one of the things that I've been doing that's really helped me a lot, uh, I've been trying to get my lateral movement 
uh, back a bit because um, I always love playing sports. And I, I picked up a cheap racquetball um, uh, racket. Racquetball racket. Uh, and I was, you know, I, you know they have racquetball at, at the club I go to now. Uh, I found one. It's only about four miles from here. So my process, and it's funny, you know, now working from home, how things go. I wake up uh, at five. I head to the gym. I work out for about 50 minutes. And then I will go hit a racket, uh, you know, hit a ball for, for another 20, 25 minutes. Um, you know, just by myself, I, you know, I, I, there were a couple of nice guys that go, Hey, you want to come play with us? I go, listen, I haven't, I, I'm not ready to play anybody yet. Um, but I'm getting there, boy, real quick. Um, when I do something, I've got to be the best at it or else, or, or else I just, uh, um, I get obsessed to the point where I, I, I have to just keep getting better. Um, and I am getting better at it, but it really has helped, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, I went, I went to go find some extra rackets because the one I had was really cheap. Uh, I think I paid like fifteen bucks for it. So we go down to play it again, sports. Uh, I said, oh, maybe I'll get a used one, right? You know, because they usually run a real good one, or run about 150, 160 bucks. Um, they had, they didn't have one. It's all this pickleball thing. And I'm not playing pickleball. I'll tell you why I'm not playing pickleball. It looks fun. But the problem is, you you can't play it by yourself. And I have a thing about being able to do certain sports by myself. Now, I used to, you know, I'm, I'm actually thinking of going back and playing softball uh, in the senior league up here. Uh, I'm too young to play with the kid. I mean, too old. Too old. To, I wish I was too young. Uh, I'm too old to play you know, and, and start, go back to the traveling team I was on for, for all those years. Um, but, but, uh, you know, they got a little senior league here and I just, I don't like, you know, I've done that already. You know, when you do something, I get bored really quick. It's, it's weird. Um, where I'll kind of, get really good at something and then once you do everything it's kind of like okay what's next like i used to play golf and and you know i got good at it then when you would go there people want to play with you and then you're held hostage by other people the same thing with pickleball pickleball world champion i'm sure it's fun and all that other stuff but you know what the problem is if you want to go play, you can't just pick up your pickleball thing and go to a court and play. You have to rely on somebody. Then if they're late, okay, or they can't make it, or they can't they can't make it at that time, then you just kind of, you know, you're relying on somebody else. I can't stand that. Okay, it drives me absolutely insane. Me, I go to the racquetball court. I take my ball out, put my glasses on, put my hat back on, okay, and I just start whacking, whacking the living shite out of the ball, okay, and it has helped me remember who I was and who I am, okay, um, you know, first month in, and I'm already, you know, doing things that at my age I could go to a tournament and, and, and win it. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm benching 450. I can do it about six times. Um, before I used to work out with that. Okay. And, and, and my maximum was in the high fives. I don't think I can press that type of weight. Um, but I think I can feel comfortable at a certain weight. Uh, I want my strength back. Um, I'm, starting to stretch and get back into uh some of the fighting things i used to do um because there's a place also close to there that I, i've joined uh that i'm going to be going back uh, and and getting just getting back to myself i you know you want to make one more run i think i you know at this age one good healthy run 
and then just go, all right, I, I've done as much as I possibly could and I feel good about it. So um, if I can keep going to my late 70s, I'd be pretty happy. And then, you know, God willing, you know, live out my days nice and relaxed reading comic books. All right. And if I could still read, play games or paint. Mm. Excuse me for that. Okay. Mouth gets dry. So I've been trying to get the channel back to where it was. Um, for me, it's very personal. I lost four years um, in growth and subscribers and everything because I had been so sick. And I kind of wiped those four years from my mind, you know, because it could, it could depress you a bit. And you can go, to, you can think within yourself and go, geez, you know, that's four years that went, you know, that I lost, I fell behind. Can I, can I come? No, I'm not going to worry about that. And, and we've talked about this before, so I'm not going to hit on it too long. But as I've started painting again, okay, because my arm, actually, I almost have all the feeling back. And, and that's another thing that the, the racquetball has been helping with is the the movement, you know, and being able to start to feel a little bit, you know, after two botched operations. Um, well, one botched and then the guy fixed the other one, but it took forever to f get feeling in my hands again. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to ever be able to paint the way I used to, um, but I think I can at least help, you know, you know, I fell apart in the painting game. I fell apart in the game, you know, uh, fell behind in the painting game. I fell behind in the... Uh, board gaming world, the convention world, all this stuff I fell behind on. And I'm okay with it. Because like anything else in life, you know, I've never quit anything. And you pick yourself up and you keep going. But as I was, you know, bringing these things back, I was thinking to myself, you know, what made me do all this? Well, you, you know, who were the people that, that influenced me? Or, or, or you you know that the channels that helped me most and i started thinking and i wonder you know out there you know you know like i said every time i i go on youtube or something like that to go look up a wrestling thing wrestlemania this weekend i watched last night it was pretty good um every time i go on there's somebody new and i wonder if these people had influence from somebody or they just thought that they can make it rich or or so forth and so on. And I wondered, geez, what, you know, this was a painting channel for the longest time. It was one of the reasons I went to Miniature Market is because they had miniatures, you know, as a sponsorship. And I said, oh, I could just paint. And that's what I was known for when I was on the Dice Tower. I would paint, do war games, and do stuff with Sam um, and Tom and Z. Um, but, you know, four years have gone by and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm coming back and what were some of the things that, that really hit me? And, and I wonder what type of influencer that you guys really were, in, you know, that you watched that helps you with your board game hobby. Is it somebody like, you know, you know, Tom? Where, you know, I mean, Tom's channel is incredible. I don't get, you know, I don't get to watch all these channels very much. Um, but, you know, when I do, I do get inspiration, uh, it, 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 you know, in some ways. Um, even though I'm going to make this very clear. There is a video that goes up tomorrow that they just did that I had in my head. And I did it, and I did not steal anything from them. So I'm going to make sure that, that, that I say that. But the way I talk about it is a little different. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but um, I don't watch their thing very often, but I do wa I like to watch Tom's boring unboxings. And the reason I love watching that is it helps me find games that I may not know about because I don't put myself self out there as much as I do. 
um, in the board gaming world to know what's new, to know what's coming out. Um, and people are going to send things to Tom first. So if I see <clears throat> something, I go, ooh, that, that might be good for the channel. Let me reach out to somebody and see if I can, you know, I can get a copy of it. Or let me see if it's at Miniature Market. I'll bring it in. Uh, Age Ammonia, perfect example. I saw this and I went, what the heck is this monster? I go, this looks interesting. I brought, you know, I reached out to, to the company and basically they laughed at me, <laughs> which is okay. I don't take those things uh, personally. Um, you know, I am a little channel, um, and, um, then I saw it pop up on miniature market and I went out and I bought it because I thought it would be good here on the channel. So, <clears throat> um, I, 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 I did that. So it was, it, you know, you know, those things really helped me a lot. So, you know, if I'm scanning through, I'll go, oh, I wonder if he did another unboxing. He does them every couple of weeks and I'll check. But I mean, are you, inf are, are you inspired by how many people he has covering all the different games so you can get a feel for that game? Or is it somebody like Watch It Played where, where they teach you the game? Okay. Or, you know, and, and then they have all these wonderful people on there, you know, from Chaz, Chaz, who I, I, I miss seeing and talking to, uh, just a very intelligent guy, Paula, never met her, but you know, very engaging. And, you know, Matthew, I've met at a dice tower con, a uh, very, very nice kid. Uh, just, you know, you know, here's the thing where, where, um, you know, like Rodney surrounds himself with like the nicest people on the planet. And, you know, knowing Rodney personally, what a wonderful person, you know, we've, we've spent a lot of times and every once in a while, we'll, we'll check in with each other here and there and, and see how we're doing, or we'll have a question for each other or something like that. Um, or if there's bad weather, like there was a couple of hurricanes that were spinning up towards, uh, Nova Scotia and I said hey bro trust me I deal with these on a daily basis stay stay on your stuff mm. but you know the people that inspire you know and, and you know those are a couple of people that I, you know early early on I I was so inspired by you know you know and now you know I really focus in on people like J play you know people smaller channels that I don't understand why they don't get the movement that they should. And, and I've talked about this before. Um, but you know, uh, you know, Ricky Royal, one of my favorite people of all time beyond solitaire, Liz, who's a friend of mine that we talk quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of great, great people that you can take inspiration from, you know, they go and play something and you go, wow, you know, that's, that's good. Uh, uh, geek, uh, uh, geek gamer, um, Deborah, who I, I, I just really adore. We haven't talked in a while. Um, uh, matter of fact, I was supposed to interview her at one time, but she got really busy with life and things like that. And she's kind of likes to keep to herself too, but just such a wonderful, wonderful person who I, I really admire because she likes to do the little indie stuff like I do. And, uh, just really, really wonderful. Uh, Christopher, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, Rob, have you played the fighting fantasy board game? Yes, I have. Uh, Rob Horn is my favorite insular. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. you're drinking the Kool-Aid. We got to get you off the Kool-Aid, Chris. <laughs> He shows all the most epic games. Yes, I do. I love I love epic games. Uh, Michael says I want to see the game played to get a sense of what it would be like. Two player mostly. Rodney is great. Uh, I like playthroughs. Always liked watching Uncle Adam. Uh, what um, on tabletop minions? Uh, you know something. Um, Oh, God, I'm going to tell you a little story uh, real quick. 
Um, geez, if I can only... Uh, we went to Origins, that's where it was. And Miniature Market was put in the back. And Steve asked if I would go to Origins. I said, yeah, I'll go to Orange, or, or, Oranges. Or, or in, Origins with you. And um, we went in the back. We were in the back. And we were next to a table uh, with Uncle Adam. What a nice guy. Really, you know, some of these bigger channels, the, the people are just very, very nice. He didn't know who I was worth Adam. I get it. But um, he was very, very nice. Gave me some great advice. Um, was very, very engaging. Um, just, just a really wonderful person. And I, I always took that. And when I would, you know, every once in a while, I'll listen to him. Um, but what a voice on him. I mean, that guy, that guy could tell the, the six o'clock news, just, just very gifted. And, 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 you know, you know, what more can you say? Um, Ben Harsh. Yeah, I, I think, uh, Ben's pretty good. Um, I don't watch him, but I've seen a couple of his things and I like it. Um, Ricky Royal is awesome. Oh, Ricky Royal is awesome. just if I could ever get out to UK Expo, um, that is the one bucket list thing I have in this business is to um, meet meet Ricky. And, uh, you know, we talk here and there. You know, we follow each other on Instagram and X or whatever it's called now. And... Um, it is just, um, you know, it's a friendship and uh, it, somebody I really would like to meet. Another person that I would really, really like to meet is um, uh, Jamie Stegmeyer. Um, this is a guy that I think I just, there's something very beautiful in what he does. Um, <clears throat> that, that hits a core for me. And he is somebody that I think I would be very good friends with. Um, <clears throat> we chat from time to time and he's been very nice to this channel and I can't thank him enough for, 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 for believing in me, um, in, with certain things. And I'm looking forward to some of the things that I've got cooking, uh, for him. Uh, Ricky Royal taught me how to play Mage Knight. Yes, one of my favorite videos of all time. Um, I love that game. I'm trying to, I, where the heck do I have it? I have so many games, I just don't know where they are. Yeah, that is one that I'm going to have to pull out and play at some point. Um, you will see a, P, uh, a playthrough. I, I do the setup video, uh, that you'll see at the end of this week. Um, I'm getting back to taping playthroughs. So, um, playthroughs, painting, um, reviews, rants. Uh, they're not really rants anymore. They're just things that, that, that come across my mind that I share with you guys. And I, I think that's the way the channel's going to go, you know. Um, I, I was never a fan of unboxings. I think they're just lazy. Do they help you? Um, to some degree with some games. Um, I never understood. I, I always felt, uh, there's a couple of war game channels out there. Um, they are just known for doing unboxings. What, what's the point? People want to know if the game's good. Okay. Anybody can show you what's inside a box. Heck, it, 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 you, know, you know, if they're doing a playthrough, they could show you what's inside the box, but learning the game takes time and it's hard with war games. Uh, to really, but, but you got to have a gist of it and just not make it an unboxing. And, um, a lot of people do that or they never play the game and they kind of flub it a little bit, read the rules halfway and try to explain it. Um, you take, uh, somebody like Zilla Blitz, who I think is the best board gaming, uh, I mean, war gaming channel out there. This guy takes the time to make sure that you understand the game. And I really, and you know, when I pop in, I, I don't get a chance too much. It's funny when you work from home, I think you work more than if you went into work. 
it's always there so you you know you're always going on and doing things <coughs> but you know all these these people that 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 have been just just beautiful i wish rob would get give the name of the game and a short rules explanation your reviews that makes no sense I wish Rob would give the name of the game and a short rules explanation your review okay no idea um what the heck was uh, uh oh was I saying before I got distracted there? Um I uh I think I was saying oh uh working from home. Yeah it really changes how you do things and um you know you're always there and but it's also helped me with this channel starting to turn it back around um and that's a big thing is trying to you know i have a few things on my bucket list for this channel is one i would like to go back to gen con and one more time to origins and then just call it call it um it's been hard it's expensive of course um and um you know, with the farm, it's it's a little bit of of an adjustment, um, but you know, one more time to each would be nice. Uh, if Richard Launius goes to the Dice Tower, I will be going to the Dice Tower this year. So I went last year, which was nice because I I missed a couple of years, of course, because I was so deathly sick, and a couple were canceled. I always used to go to the Dice Tower. Um, it's always uh, during 4th of July, so that's always a lot of fun. So um, I'd like to do that this year. Um, I was thinking of maybe going to Recon at the end of the, this month, but I think I'll skip that one and maybe go to Huracan if I go um and that that's about it so you know of course you know it's so hard to get a hotel because once they announce it and you're you don't know what's going to happen a half a year from now and then the hotels get sold out and you know you don't want to be in a hotel that's far away uh especially at gen con you want to stay in that main hel uh, hotel where it's connected and you can get through um and then you know, you know, you just want to be able to get your pass that you can get in there and and tape things before the mad rush. Get all your stuff done and get out of the way. <laughs> and, uh, you, you know, the whole thing is I always work there because I always, like I said, I've said it before, I always try to make people feel like they were actually there. And I thought that was important. But uh, getting back to the subject at hand... Um, you, you, you know, I really wonder, you know, especially with so many new influencers who basically do the same thing, which style really, really kind of, kind of helps your, sh your shorts show many cows. Do you have chickens as well? Yes, we have chickens and we're going to have some new additions uh, coming soon, which are goats. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of goats. We just got through building a goat pen. So, uh, as well as fixing all that fence. And uh, what else are we doing? Uh, we're trying... Oh, we ran into a coral snake. Uh, which was not good. Okay, they are very, very deadly. It was near the chicken coop. And the problem is, is that my son was storing the chicken food and the the cow food in a shed that we had next to the chicken coop well somehow mice got in there and started eating the the bags well 
we moved that out and cleared it out, but the mice stayed, so we have to clear out the mice. Uh, when you have mice, you are going to get some nasty snakes, especially here in Florida. So we are in the process of getting that taken care of so we don't have these nasties flowing around because uh, that's the last thing I need to be doing, which, uh, you know, I got in a fight with the cobra and he lost. Um, uh, you know, cause he was kind of aggressive, but, um, my wife ran into him when she was weed whacking and, uh, he started kind of heading towards her and then, well, I took care of that. Um, but boy, uh, that's the last thing you need with kids and dogs. So we're taking care of that. We do have some good snakes we do not mess with. Um, and we want them there because they, they do keep away the bad snakes. Uh, but you know, Hey, you, you know, when you got 20 something acres of property, you are going to run into some wildlife, ran into a bunch of turkeys the other day and they were funny. And then the massive hawks that we saw. So, you know, a lot of things going on, uh, here at the farm. But, you know, like I said, as I try to bring things back, you know, some people like to watch channels to, um, you know, for painting, some watch for, you know, for comedy. You know, one of the things that can, uh, that drove me crazy is, can this person lift this bo game box? It's, 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 uh, sometimes the humor's cringy, but you know, I can see where people need a laugh every day. Uh, for me, it just doesn't work. But you know, uh, different tastes for different folks. That's for dog going, sure. Um, and these different, influencers you know how do they help you you know and that's a question that i'm going to put out there and i hope i'll see in the comments you know who helps you who you know how do they help you most enhance your board gaming exp you know experience uh you know for me i think the big two do it the best one you know shows off the game shows you, you know, it has numerous people, they play the games, they, uh, they review the games, they give you their opinion on games, they have different subjects on the games. And then, you know, you've got Rodney, who's just, just the best to explain the game. It's, it's why, you know, people pay him to do it because, you, you, you know, there is nobody is more thorough and professional than, than Rodney Smith. And I'm sure there's others out there. I, you know, like I said, I mentioned a couple of the other people that I really, really enjoy. Um, but for the most part, you know, I really don't spend a lot of time, you know, looking at different things. You know, maybe I'll try to get a different idea if somebody I like, like a Paul Grogan or somebody, uh, covers something. I go, okay, that looks interesting. Let me research a little bit, see if it'll fit this channel. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll investigate things to, and try to do that, try to get something that will come on here and really hit home. Um, and you know, it, it helps. And I wonder, you know, you know, people that aren't, that don't have a YouTube channel, you know, how do you determine who do you, you know, who are, you know, what influencers really stick out for you guys? Um, that, that will help you decide whether or not you're going to get a game. You know, are you a soloist that likes to watch the one shop co-op, you know, which, uh, does a very good job, you know, or, or rolling solo, uh, Adam Smith, one of the best out there. Um, mod, you know, very well thought out and very well produced, just like his, uh, his uncle, um, you know, just, uh, you know, there's a lot of different things to kind of look at as a whole, you know, and you know, what, what inspires you? Are there painting channels? Uh, God, I remember there was one when uh, about 15 years ago or no, about 10 years ago. Um, and it helped me paint. Oh, what was that game? Dreadfleet. The guy would break down every ship and I, I, 
I would follow it to a T and it helped me paint that whole thing for the first time. I was really, really inspired by it all. Uh, AJ, how you doing? Uh, and, 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 and it really helped, um, you know, certain painting videos and, and, and now they're, they're, you know, every time you turn around, just like everything else, you know, nobody, it, it's a funny thing. I, where, where we go? We were someplace, and a guy turns to me and he says, you know, nobody wants to work anymore. We can't find people. And even in my wife's profession, nobody wants to work anymore. And since, you know, since COVID, nobody wants to work. Um, everybody wants to stay home and, you know, maybe do, do things on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, I, I just couldn't imagine what I would do without working. I think I would lose my mind. Um, and, you know, they they want to make the quick money, you know, be an influencer or this, that, and the other. It's not that easy. Um, you know, there's a game plan to it, and people seem to fall for it. Like, I saw something that was... that made my head spin. I saw somebody with like two million video, uh, two minute million views. Now I don't think I'll ever get two million views in anything. But all they did was show off something. And I'm trying to be as vague as possible. And I went, okay, what? Huh? And then I saw other videos of the same different thing. And I realized who the audience was. And I went, okay, that's what's on here. And it's weird. A lot of people, not all, suffer from a lack of purpose. That's all. Okay. A lack of purpose. I don't know. I kind of disagree with that a little bit. You know, when I was a young boy, I got up. And, you know, I would, you know, you, you, you need to, you know, get out of bed and get things done. And, you know, it, it's instilled in you. Um, I think in the day of age of looking at your phone and, and things like that, I don't think, I don't think people have the same drive. It was a different time. You know, it's a different age. You know, it's past me a long, long time ago. Uh, for a long time, I wished to paint my Hero Quest miniatures, old edition, but I am afraid to mess them up. Will you be making tutorial videos for painting? Yes, I am going to, and I, I promised that I would start with uh, the Shadow Brimstone stuff, and I'm going to start there. Um, matter of fact, boy, we got a lot going on from Flying Frog this week. We've got. Uh, the start of our playthrough of Fortune and Glory. And uh, Shadows of Brimstone. Um, but yeah, I, I, I plan on doing a lot of things. Uh, you know, I, I'm starting to find time. I just have to find a rhythm. Um, and as I do that, I think... Um, I think things will fall into place. And... And that's the thing, is finding good you know uh getting back to the to a little bit of everything is finding the influencers that 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 inspire you okay um you know or you know sometimes you know it's the how do i put this without being rude the ones that are use shock value that maybe you know will attract you to something um, but you know, the people that legitimately try to give you good information, um, it seems the shock value always gets the biggest nut, believe it or not. Um, and
Yeah, it, it, people love drama, and they tend to gravitate towards it. Where there's some people that try to stay completely out of drama, and, and maybe drama is too strong of a word, word, but they try to stay out of it and just give you good, clean information that will not get the same kind of response. And I think that frustrates the people that put a lot of work into, you know, editing and making things pretty and stuff like that and making sure that, you know, they give you the best information that they can. And then somebody just comes out and goes, oh, hey, how you doing? Uh, here's this. And boom, you know, uh, <laughs> two million views. Um, I, can, I, can, I can understand that. But, um, you know, all in all, uh, Dick says, I grew up poor. Putting your back into your work was the only way to survive. Mm, yep. I got no problem with getting up every day and applying myself. You know, and that's the thing for me working at home is, you know, I, I do have a job. I can do it remotely. It's nice to be here because I'm not driving two hours into the base and two hours back um, and I think the thing that really stands out for me is that when I'm here I always have that thing that was instilled in me and that's the hey get up you got to be working so you know when I get up I get in a pattern and I'm there and I'm sitting I don't even take a lunch I just sit there and and, and I do what I need to do and you know, before you know it, it's the end of the day and you're going, oh my God, you know, I, I got all this, you know, all this done. And, uh, you know, and then when you shut it off, you know, sometimes at seven, eight o'clock at night, I'll have to, I go, boy, did I do that? Let me check. And I'll log back in and I'll go, okay, okay. And then I'll work for another hour. It's, 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 it's weird if you are very driven, um, like I've always been. Um, you will, you will go outside that, uh, you know, you'll work more from home, believe it or not, but people don't want to work period. I, I, I believe, um, it's a weird thing. Um, and a lot of, uh, businesses complain about it. Um, you know, we've called to get services and people don't return phone calls. And you're like, this is a business. We're giving you an opportunity for a job. And, you, you know, they just don't care. You know, they just want to do the bare minimum. It's a different, different age. It's something I'm not used to. Um, so there you go. And then uh, maybe it's the solar eclipse. You know, they seem to be blaming everything on the solar eclipse. So why don't we just blame the solar eclipse? for the last couple of years it's been coming and you know there you go <laughs> oh boy so there you go a lot going on here a lot of videos that i am working on trying to get back to the way we were four years ago uh when when you know i felt that we were really rolling for a while um you know i have a different look on things and how I'm going to go about doing things and I want to do it right um, and really shine here for you guys so for uh, you know whether somebody watches or not it doesn't matter to me the most important thing is that I really try to um, how do I put it um, just give you the best that I possibly can I think that's the most important thing I could ever do. And if I could do that, I think that's a win. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't think I can make it any, any clearer. Uh, so, um, things are falling into place. My health is as is, 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 is good as it's been. Uh, you know, I think another month, and I think I will be 100% back and you know it'd be like i said uh with my health finally back where it needs to be i can take a look at a convention maybe meet some of you guys which would be kind of nice 
um, and, and, and see where it goes. You know, it'd be nice to get out there and, and, and you know, meet some distributors, talk to, to people, um, just get around a little bit. Um, it's something I, I, I'd like, I, you know, I, I'm thinking about and, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, definitely be interesting. How far would it take me to drive to Indianapolis? Probably take me about 20 hours. <laughs> Especially the way I drive. And of course, I'd have to go through Georgia. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about that one. I would definitely have to think about that one. But it's definitely something I would like to do. Let's. Oh, I don't have my phone with me. I was going to see how long does it take to get to from Florida to Indianapolis. Hmm. You'd have to go through. Because I would drive it. I don't want to fly. I'm not a fan of flying anymore. I mean, those those little tin cans are just germ I, I I just can't get sick again the way I did. Especially being allergic to certain things. And then, of course, you know, you go to the germ fest. That's the other thing I've been worried about. But I think my immune system is really in a great spot. So, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. That's for doggone sure. All right. I think that's about it. Wow, 47 minutes. I can keep this under an hour. But I, I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, I know we got we bounce all over the place, but that's what we do here. Um, a lot of great stuff coming up and, uh, I'm just going to keep working here, putting my head down and, uh, uh, doing what I got to do. Matter of fact, when I get off here, uh, I am going to take that camera right over there and I am going to start doing some painting videos, um, to try to get ahead a little bit. So I'm looking forward to getting that done. So without further ado, my dear friends, it was so good seeing you all. Uh, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, not so fast, not so fast. Uh, we've got an auction coming next Sunday, starts next Sunday, 13 hours. That's not bad. That's without traffic, so, you know, you leave like 7 in the morning, you get back at maybe 10 o'clock at night, or you get in there, uh... Knowing me, I would leave at 4 in the morning. Try to get there around 5. 6. With traffic. You know, you got to make stops. Well, that's not too bad. That's not a bad drive. I'd rent a car. I'd rent something with a big back end on it. Huh. It's not a bad idea. Hmm. My curiosity has the best of me. Ah, we'll see. All right, guys. Um, uh, auction starts next Sunday. Uh, we've got a big one. We've got full sets of uh, Cyberpunk, uh, Dune, uh, the, the, all the Kickstarter stuff. And i got a ton of other stuff that we are going to be auctioning off. It starts next Sunday. Um, we will do it live here. So when we get together, um, we will we'll get together and we'll get this together. And uh, I will show you all the lots. We'll make it very quick. And then another great auction, uh, just in time for tax day here in the United States. So there you go. All right, I love you all. I hope you have a blessed Sunday. And uh, we've got a lot, of, a lot of content for you. I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.